So the last thing is this, uh, the, this, this uh, new technocratic government, uh, which uh, was appointed by the President Johannes after Ponta resigned, uh, he might go to jail, uh, was appointed, you see the, the idea, it's, it's basically the people versus political class cleavage in action. As a result of these protests, they appointed a non-political governmental specialist, technocratic, with mostly with people who either work for the European Union, so specialists in whatever field, or and members of the civil society, so non-political. And all the parties in the parliament support this government, obviously impressed and afraid by this popular reaction, but we'll see how far this government can go. Uh, the next election is in 2016, the hope is that it will last until then, but again the problem with technocratic governments, as mentioned before, is that they don't have solid political support, right, because they're not a political government. Uh, uh, in any case, we'll see, and we'll see what the 2016 election will, will bring, how will that solve that situation. In any case, it remains interesting.